What's up guys? So, you know, today, honestly, I've got a pretty stupid video for you. We played against the guy with the name Spongebob, and what ended up happening, you know, it was a pretty exciting match, but what ended up happening is we were just memeing about Spongebob, me in the chat, the whole time. So, uh, if you want to hear me <laughs> spout off some Spongebob memes, uh, you know, I think this is the video for you. But regardless, it was a lot of fun, it was a great match, and I hope you enjoy watching it. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh god, we're fighting Spongebob. And he's playing Team Alien. Is Hit an alien? I'm just assuming that Hit's an alien. He's like from another another galaxy or something. I'm just guessing. It's hard to tell these days. Um, but Jiren's definitely an alien. Fighting Team Weird Looking Alien. Let's go. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza. For you and me. Let's go, SpongeBob. Show me your warrior screech, SpongeBob. I mean, I guess we snap here. It honestly doesn't feel that good, but I think it might end up being worth it. He says immediately before getting destroyed. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I took I took the blue life. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's just level three. We don't get any mix otherwise. Hit is Squidward. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ooh, oh! You thought you were the only one with a far reaching auto combo? No, Videl's got those. Okay. Cell could be Mr. Krab. Cell is clearly Plankton. Cell is obviously Plankton, right? No question about that. Let's see if he gets hit hit again. Yeah, he did. You gotta stop pressing stuff during my block strings. Other than guard cancel. That's the one smart thing to press during her block strings. I don't think we could kill if we sparked. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I tried. I tried for the big brain bait. Woo! <laughs> that down medium. That down medium. Goodbye, everyone. I'll remember you all in therapy. <laughs> That's my favorite Plankton line. <laughs> uh... Yeah, Cell and Plankton sound like the exact same. Wow, what a punish! What a punish! Smart stuff, man. That's the kind of stuff that Blue Coop can do that you kind of forget about. Yeah, we punish those, though. Is he dead? He's damn close to it. Not quite. Okay, let's just bait. Uh oh. So much for that, huh? You just gotta land one lucky... One lucky vanish, right? But he only has to touch us like one time. <gasps> he went low. What a comeback! I was holding up back, man. I deserved it. I deserve to get hit there. <laughs> Victory! <sp> screech! Blah! 
Have you guys heard that that remix where it's like a song and like the beat is like Squidward choking on a fork? Have you guys seen that? Uh, SpongeBob did come back. Hold on, I'll play I'll play that song for you guys shortly. As soon as I beat this guy. Famous last words, I know. Whoa, that confirm! That confirm! That wasn't even really a confirm, was it? That was insane. Squidward choking on a fork homework edit? Is that is that what it's actually called? Dude. Okay. Still can't really kill here. Okay, we can kill. <laughs> he says you won't be able to block this. <laughs> That's why I got out of the way. I'm gonna throw. Wow. A victory, Screech. Lo, 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 lo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love SpongeBob. Cross up, right? Something like that. He was definitely going for some kind of nonsense there. Oh, this doesn't work mid screen. No! No! That hurts. He's got a raw tag, right? I bet he raw tags right at the start. Let's see. That's unsafe, right? Not that unsafe, apparently. Haven't used Vanish yet, so we are allowed to do this. Okay. Bringing it back. I'm gonna throw. I think maybe, maybe he waits for a hit before sparking. Let's see. Nope. You press buttons. All right, one to one. One to one. Okay, is this the, is this the song? I don't need it. I don't need it. Dude, this is the jam right here. Oh no, I stopped blocking. Uh, we <laughs> tag canceled it in the wrong person. Okay, that was a fun experience, guys. Though that was insane. Oh, 
I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. That was that was definitely like one of one of the most memorable episodes for me. The one where he he goes to Sandy's house and there's like the glass there's like the vase of water and he's like I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I need it. <laughs> oh my god. Man, I'm just so late with these Yamcha calls. No, you're not allowed to do that. No, you're not allowed to do that. Stop pressing buttons in the air. I forbid it. It's funny because I think I actually enjoy SpongeBob more now that I'm an adult than uh, when I watched it when I was a teenager. A lot of people say Ultra SF4 is better than SF5. Can someone explain? I think there's two kind of primary reasons why Street Fighter 4 a lot of people prefer. The two big reasons, I would say, is one, Street Fighter 5 had an absolutely embarrassing launch. The launch of Street Fighter 5, honestly, Capcom should be ashamed that they put out a $60 product with like all the modes missing. Like, half of the main menu was like, this mode is not in the game yet. Please check back. It was really, really shameful. So that left a really bad taste in everyone's mouth. And the second reason, I think, is because Street Fighter 4 allows for a lot more creativity and expression in the way you play your character. There were a lot more open combo routes. Combos were a lot harder. They, they weren't exactly like Marvel vs. Capcom too hard, but... Combos were a lot harder in Street Fighter 4, and what kind of came with that was, like, if you watch, like, certain players play a character, you'd be like, oh, like, that's, that's the, the Sako Noko combo, or whatever, like, he's the only one that does that combo, you know what I mean? You could really, and, and like, if you watch, like, Daigo versus Alex Valle, that's, like, a classic match, that's, like, a beloved match from that game. You can see the difference in two Ryu players, the way they play the character, they play it completely different. Alex Valle played a very rushdown oriented Ryu, where Daigo plays much more of a runaway and fireball focused Ryu. So it allowed you to express yourself in the way you played a character a lot more. Where Street Fighter V, everyone plays the characters the same. They have a lot fewer options, they have a lot fewer combo routes, combos are a lot simpler, and uh, the optimal way to play a character is like the same for everyone. So. Uh, it makes it, SF5 I think is like an easier game, it's an easier game to pick up, but uh, that lack of sort of options makes for kind of a more linear experience. Now do I think that SF4 is that much better than SF5? Not really. I, I would say they're about equal. The other thing to keep in mind is that Street Fighter V, while they have made like updates to it, they have not made the same kind of like big leaps that were made between the Street Fighter 4 versions. Those were like entirely new games. So Ultra SF4 was like the fifth Street Fighter 4 game, so keep that in mind. Vanilla SF4 was a lot worse, a lot more imbalanced and broken, so... Anyway, th that's why I think a lot of people prefer 4. The other thing is that 4 brought a ton of new people into the fighting game community. Street Fighter 4 was probably the biggest fighting game since Street Fighter 2, in terms of bringing in new players. Um, and so a lot of people really fondly remember Street Fighter 4 and love that game because for a lot of people it was their first fighting game that they went to tournaments for or like played online. So a lot of people have really fond memories so nothing nothing is going to be able to live up to you know your first experience playing a fighting game and trying to get good and having fun with it. It's going to be hard to replicate that experience. Yeah, SF4 had a lot more room for personality. I agree. SF4 had a lot of problems, though. Uh, that's three, right? Well, should we give this guy a victory screech? Uh, see you later. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching.
Be sure to let me know down in the comments if there's any type of content you want to see. Do you want to see tutorials? Do you want to just see more matches? Do you want to see like match analysis? Whatever. Just let me know down in the comments and we'll try to deliver for you. And with that, we're going to bring things to a close. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.